We all know that feeling when you've finally found that perfect product, only to find out that your size is out of stock. With back in stock notifications, your customer can subscribe to be notified when their product is in stock again, so they can buy the perfect product for them. In this video, you'll learn how to set up custom back in stock notifications in Klaviyo. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's pass it to Michaela to learn more. First, let's ensure your catalog is inventory aware. If you have a custom catalog, this means your catalog items must have the inventory quantity field. You can also set up custom back in stock notifications for catalogs synced from several e-commerce platforms, which are listed in the documentation. You can create back in stock subscription events on both the client side and the server side. Let's start with the server side setup using Klaviyo's API collection in Postman. First, select the create back in stock subscription endpoint. Since this is a server-side endpoint, make sure to authenticate with a private API key that has right access to catalogs and profiles. In the request body, update the channels array to specify which channels you want to use for notifications. For this example, we'll include email, so customers who subscribe will only receive email alerts when a specific product is back in stock. Note that simply calling this endpoint does not automatically subscribe customers to the marketing channels you choose. You'll need to manage consent separately by using the subscribe endpoints. If you're offering SMS marketing, be sure to get explicit consent from customers. Next, let's input the subscriber's profile information. Be sure to include identifying details like an email address to correctly log the back in stock event on their profile. The last required piece of the API request is the relationships object. This object contains the ID of the variant that the customer wants notifications for. Note that back in stock subscriptions operate at the variant level, so customers get alerts for the specific size or color they're interested in. The variant ID should include the integration type, catalog ID, and the variant's external ID. For example, if you're using a custom catalog, you can format it like custom default variant ID. Now your API request is ready. When you send it, a subscribe to back in stock event will be logged on the specified profile. Let's see it in action by adding a client side back in stock subscription to Beantown Coffee's website. The payload of the client side endpoint will be very similar, so I'll copy this request body from Postman. Let's set up this client side post request when customers submit the back in stock form. For the request body, Paste in the body you copied from Postman. I'll replace the email address with the customer email from the back in stock form. Since this is a Shopify site, I will also update the variant ID to reference the Shopify catalog and the ID of the currently selected variant. Add the create client back in stock subscription endpoint as the URL. Since this is a client-side request, instead of authenticating the request with a private API key in an authorization header, we'll authenticate with the public API key as the company ID query parameter. Finally, let's send this request to the create client back in stock subscription endpoint whenever a customer submits this form. Once this is all set up, let's confirm it's working. I will go to Beantown Coffee's website and navigate to an out-of-stock product. I'll click the button and enter my email to subscribe to back-in-stock notifications. Here, I can see a message letting me know I have successfully filled out the form. In Klaviyo, the subscribe to back-in-stock event is logged on the profile I use to fill out the sign-up form. Once you've sent at least one back in stock event, go to your account settings, then select other and back in stock settings. Here, you can customize how and when to notify customers when products are restocked. The last step is to create a flow triggered by the subscribe to back in stock event to alert customers that their favorite products are available again. And there you have it. 
a straightforward way to set up custom back-in-stock notifications with Klaviyo. For detailed instructions, check out the resources linked in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching.